guys, it's Robin with All Things Hard and Home. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cute little um, terracotta flower pot wreath and um, it's super easy. I think you'll like it for spring. You're going to need um, just a few things. The full tutorial is on my blog, All Things Hard and Home, but I'm going to show you how I did it here. Um, if you need more instruction written, if you like it that way, just check out the blog post with the flower pot wreath is what it's called. Now let's get started. All right. Are you ready to make our wreath? I have this 14 inch grapevine wreath that we're going to build on. These are heavy pots when you put a bunch of them together, so this is a good sturdy wreath to do that. I gathered my pots together, my uh, terracotta pots, and I gave them a little bit of an aged patina because you guys know, number one, I love terracotta, but I do not like it um, in that burnt orange, brand new looking terracotta um, color. I like to give it a little bit of a softening first. So I aged this using a couple of different color paints watered down. Um, I used white and green for this one. And then I just used a baby white after I painted on the watered down paint and wiped it off again really quickly. So you can kind of work with it and redo it if you don't like it and just give it that softening effect that you want. You can do it as deep a color or as transparent of a color as you want to. I have all of my pots ready to go now and I'm going to wire them on to my grapevine form. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm taking my four, I've got my four um, larger terracotta pots and I've just put some heavy gauge wire this is about 16 or 18 gauge, I think. Put it through the hole in the pot, wrapped it around the wreath, and, and twist it off on the back side. I'm going to position these uh, bigger terracotta pots on four predominant sides. There we go. And I'll just keep going. All right. I am working with adding my pots, my clay pots. I have done some with the wire, and then I got some twine and tried some because I wanted to know if you guys you know, just did this with what you had lying around, how would it work with the twine? And actually, it works really great. If you were doing a huge wreath, a bigger wreath with bigger pots, I wouldn't trust this because I wouldn't think it would hold it up because these are a little weighty. But um, it works great with the smaller ones. All right, these I wanted to show you real quick before I finish. If you just take your clay pots and tie them all around the outside of the wreath in a row, then it's going to um, it's going to look it won't look three dimensional. You've got to add say one down here. If you can see how I added that, you can't just tie them kind of you know in a row like I said. You have to add them here and there and everywhere in order to give it just a more interesting look. So I'm going to finish up, but I wanted to tell you that real quick. All right, I've got all of the clay pots wired or put on the wreath form with twine, and I've gotten them pretty much like I like them. You'll notice they're not all in a row. Added some in kind of wonky places to make it more interesting. And they're certainly not all facing the same way because that wouldn't look really good either. So now I'm gonna go back and add some moss, and we'll, we'll take a look. I'm gonna start with some styrofoam and some of my smaller clay pots and I'll just fit it in there. This is not, the wreath I'm making is not for outdoors because um, this moss would get really messy. You could just glue the moss in here, but I really don't want to do that. There's no telling if I'll change my mind later on. Okay, I'm going to start with a styrofoam and then I'm going to add some moss. We'll do some different kinds of moss and um, I'm just going to add a plant or two.
It should look wild, like maybe it's just been outside for a while. I kind of like it to look like things just grew here or were left. I don't want it to look put together at all. I did decide to glue some of the pots together with a hot glue gun because when I picked it up to hang it, they kind of fell in a way that wasn't very pleasing, entirely pleasing to the eye. So I wanted to make sure, take the chance out of this, if the, if the um, wire didn't hold or if the twine happened to stretch for some reason, get a little moist and as twine will do, get a little bigger. So I just added a little glue here and there keep the pots exactly where I wanted them. And here it is. I have it in this little um, area in my kitchen. It's kind of between my kitchen and dining room, near the pantry and laundry room. And it doesn't have any light, so I added, I, like I told you, I added the fake succulent plants. But um, if I decide to put this on the porch or um, somewhere near a window when spring comes, then I will definitely add live plants. I think that would be great. Thanks for watching um, this video. I have some more spring videos coming up and I have um, one or two in my YouTube um, channel list already. I would love to you to for you to subscribe to the, my YouTube channel if you like this video that would be great and give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind also I am at my blog home every day all things hard and home I would love to see you there and we could connect there until next time friends sending love from me to you bye bye